I think the role of FIKI will change in two or three uh, respects. One side, we are saying that the states are getting more and more important. Mm. So we have to strengthen the state's infrastructure at FIKI. Right. Because a lot of power is getting shifted from the center to the states. Right. And in that context, we have uh, launched a project, Empowering India project, right. which is going to be unveiled at our AGM day after tomorrow. Mm. So it's a study which is done in identifying the best practices in different states mm. and learning from them in terms of how do you improve the ease of doing business. Right. So we went to about eight or nine states, saw the best practices, how to start a business, how to close a business, labor areas, land areas. And we saw said, that one state which was doing something which was outstanding. Mm. Can we do that best practice? We also compared these best practices with some of the international practices. So we have prepared a report which is ready and which will be announced in our AGM. So that will help our journey in terms of improving our presence as well as our overall value addition to states. It takes two to clap hands to build trust. So it is just not the government, it's just not the industry, but both industry and the government have to change. In the past we have seen when reforms happened, the initial phase of reforms, there was a high degree of trust. I think trust is eroded in all fronts. One is between government and business, between government and its alliance partner, government and its uh, opposition. I think we need to rebuild this trust because ultimately we are working for the good of the country. I think that uh, there has been some degree of complacency because everybody thought that 7% growth rate is good. It is good. I'm not saying it's not good. In the global context, it is good. But are we happy with that or do we want to aspire more? You know, we have raised the aspirations of the youth. We have so many 12 million youth coming into job market every year. We have to provide them opportunities. This demographic dividend, if it is not capitalized well, it can come and in, turn into a demographic disaster. So it is very important that we capitalize on this. We, there has to be a continuous process, you know. We had the first wave of Big Bang reforms in the early 90s. I think we, that is, we've got consolidated. We got gains from that and now we need one more wave of reforms to take us to a much higher degree of growth rate of 9-10%. I think if they can think of using budgets in the early days of 90s, you know, budget was used as a way to announce right. some big reforms. Right. It's a great opportunity to, to do so. In spite of the opposition not cooperating, there are many areas where the government can actually drive the journey on their own. For everything, they don't have to go to the population. So can you identify those areas where the government on its own with its majority can drive mm -hmm. the agenda? So can we use budget as an opportunity to identify some, some big reforms, you know? I don't think it has it impacted been. to such an extent. There are many, I mean, there are maybe some, and many of the scams are not even proven yet, you know? So what are we talking of? You know, just because you accuse somebody that he's involved in a scam doesn't become he doesn't become a scamster. I don't. I'm not defending anybody, mm -hmm. but I'm saying these uh, some of the scams are proven, like some of the things which, but some of the scams may not be proven. Also, you know, it has to be proved in the court of law. And any developing economy in the past also we have seen scams going. In. Even in big countries, in developed economies, you have scams. But as long as it is confined to a small minority, I think it it will not impact the image of India. I don't think it has impacted the image of India.